Right now, it's midnight. Mm, sort of. So it's late, and I'm hungry. What do I do? I decide I cook myself a midnight burger. And I'm going to film it. <laughs> I've never filmed myself cooking before. Maybe once, but I can't remember. But now you guys are going to see it now. Ladies and gentlemen, do some cooking. Midnight cooking. That's a good name for us. I'm not making that into a series, by the way. Midnight cooking with laser jet. <sighs> Let's make some burgers. I'm hungry. Dark. Light switch. Yes! First things first, what I need is some chickens. Some chicken. Where do I find chicken? Aha! Chicken. The next thing we need is some burger buns. Aha! Burger buns. There's only two left, but that's all I need. Okay. This video is just a one-off because um, I'm trying something new and that's what this channel is all about. I'm actually doing something that I want to do uh, and this is something I would never upload on my main channel because one, it's too embarrassing and second of all, um, you guys might not like it so that's why I'm doing it on this channel. Hope you guys understand. Okay, so when it comes to a burger, you guys are probably thinking like beef burgers or um, cheeseburgers. For me, uh, I do like all those burgers. But one of my favorites is a Texas barbecue chicken burger. So that's why I've gone with a chicken instead, rather than a, um... What does it mean? I sound like Gordon Ramsay right now. So the basics. Lettuce. It's already open and cut, but never mind. Uh, burger buns and some cheese. So I've got myself a little tray. Just, you don't need a big one because I'm only cooking for myself. So just a small one will do. But if you're cooking for, for your family members, then a big tray will be necessary. But for me, I'm just cooking for myself. And because we would have two burger buns, unfortunately, we can only cook two. So I'm going to get two of these delicious looking chickens. They were frozen, but there we are. So I'm going to pop them in the tray like that. And then we want some seasoning, don't we? Because we want it to have a bit of flavour. So just get some salt and just sprinkle it on like so. Like I just said, I don't want anyone to attempt to recreate what I'm doing. I'm doing this my style, so don't attempt to recreate anything you're going to see in this video. Pepper. Mmm, pepper. I want this pepper. Just sprinkle that on the chickens itself. Like so. That might be a bit too much, but never mind. Who like doesn't like pepper? Pop that back in the cupboard. Like so. Good. And now what we want to do is turn the oven on. This is, this is the fun part, this is the waiting part now. And just open it up with my foot if I can. Put that in there. And close it with my foot. Because I'm skill. As I said, don't recreate anything you're going to see in this video. So never open uh, an oven door with your foot. I just do it because I'm an idiot. And it's fun. Who says cooking can't be fun? Let's make it fun! Right, let's pop the chicken back in the freezer because it's frozen chicken, not fresh. It's frozen. Mmm! Now the sauce is, it's easy. Just get some rich barbecue. Barbecue sauce, get, get a close up of that, look at that. Barbecue, lovely. And we've got some mayonnaise because who does not like mayonnaise in a chicken burger? I know I do, I love it. I love the mayonnaise. Um, so while we're waiting, what we could do is the lettuce next. And that reminds me, we haven't set the timer, have we? We need to set a timer to, let's say about, say about like in between 35 to 38 minutes, something like that, that'll do. That'll cook it to nice and crisp. Perfect. Gas mark, I have it on 180. For you guys, somewhere else, you probably don't know what that is, but my gas mark is on 180 because it may cook the inside, but on the outside it'll get nice and crispy. Why am I even saying it? I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm a, I'm a gamer, not a cook. I'm a, not a chef. I think I've been watching too much Hell's Kitchen. I think that, that's, that's, my, 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 that's my issue. I think I'm trying too hard. Anyway, I'm gonna get myself a little chopping board. As I said, you're only cooking for one person, as such as myself, so all you need is just a small little chopping board. It's very thin as well. It's, it's flexible. It's a flexible... Chopping board, who wants that? At this point, I should be pixelating all of this because I'd never do it properly. So I'm gonna gently slice just a tiny bit of lettuce. I think that went well. Maybe just a little bit more. Yes, now that's perfect. Now some of it has gone a bit everywhere, but you know, it's lettuce, you can't help that. I'm just gonna cut it up to tiny little pieces now. 
makes it more easier to fit on the burger. Now for the buns, these are already been cut as they were bought. They were they were bought already cut, so that's quite handy. So I don't have to cut the bun because normally I'm actually not very good at cutting buns. But anyway, the uh, buns are actually frozen like little um, hockey pucks, so not very nice to eat. So we need to put these in the toaster and toast them, so you, you get that nice, this is a nice crispy toasty effect on the boat. I don't know what I'm saying. I am never doing this again. This is, this, as I said, this video is just a one-off. Now the toaster is actually behind the camera, so I'm gonna have to move all these plastic bowls out of the way and just pop the burgers, or the burger buns, and not actually the burgers itself, they're actually the buns. So we're gonna just gently, God, isn't that? It's horribly frozen. So we're just gonna pop one in there, one in there, one in there, and one in there. Sorted. Now, uh, these buns only take a minute for them to actually be defrosted and cooked to a crisp. So those don't need to be done until the chicken is actually ready. So right now, it's the waiting game. Time to play some Fortnite. Now what I'm doing next is uh, to give the burger more like a chickeny, crispy uh, barbecue taste. Uh, I'm gonna cook some bacon. Well, I'm gonna fry some bacon just to give it more um, flavour for the burger, and it'll make the burger look more prettier and it will be more fun to have. Um, so what I've done, I've just soaked the pan, the the, uh, the the frying pan in some olive oil, and now I'm gonna fry some bacon. Probably put that in the sink. Um, but this bacon is absolutely dreadful, isn't it? But then again, it was my choice. Um, just gently put the bacon. As I said, we're only cooking two burgers, so we only need two bits of bacon. And that'll do. Pop the bacon back in the fridge. That's a very important thing. Always keep your station clean. Always put stuff away after yourself when you finish using it, because if you just leave stuff out, it'll make a mess. And it'll just get in the way of your cooking. So, uh, word of advice and a little tip. Always keep your station clean. Like, always put things away when you're finished with your men, you're not going to use them anymore. Uh, the reason why I haven't put these sauces away is because uh, I haven't actually used them yet, but we're just leaving them out there because they're not in the way because we're going to use them towards the end. So the stuff that I've got out is the stuff that we're going to be using and then we'll put everything away afterwards. So I know what I've got and what needs to go in and what needs to go out. It's kind of a little uh, trick I sort of um, picked up as I was growing up. But uh, I did grate some cheese. Uh, I didn't get that on camera because I don't think you guys want to see me grate some cheese. I'll get a quick close up of that, a little focus. There it goes. It's got nice grated cheese, which is nice. So that's one side, so that's ready. Um, and we've got another 11 minutes to go before the chicken is done. We're getting there. Okay, I just checked the time and it's actually half one in the morning. So I do actually need to keep my voice down just a little bit because. Um, the rest of the family are actually trying to sleep, so I need to talk a little bit quieter. I hope you guys do understand. But right now, uh, we're going to give the bacon some seasoning, so give it a little bit of salt and pepper. Just give it a little bit of seasoning. I thought we said goodbye to the salt and pepper, but no. Just to give a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And that's it. Now I'm looking on the timer, we actually have six minutes to go and the bacon is cooking nicely. We don't want it to cook too fast or it will be overcooked. So just leave it just sizzling for a few minutes and then flip it over and then wait for another few minutes and then it's done. Boss job. I shouldn't clap. It's a bit loud. There's a fly in the house. Go away fly. Okay, we've got good news my friends. The bacon is done but so is the chicken. Let's get out and see what it looks like. Really excited, it might go well or it might go bad, we don't know. Yeah, I'm love, so let's have a look. Ho 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 ho. Come here, my pity. Lovely, what do you guys think of that? Proper southern fried chickens. I mean, you can actually see the fat and the oil and the grease leaking from those chickens. The chicken's done a wee, that's not good. So now, what we're gonna do now is turn the oven off. And then we've got to start plating. So I'm gonna move the camera and I'll show you guys how to plate a burger. Now this is the fun part, putting the, the art on the, on the canvas. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, so here is my plate. Now let's start putting the burger 
together. So I've actually toasted the buns. Uh, let me just get them out of the toaster. So this is the butt of the buns. Uh, the first thing we want to put on is the mayonnaise. So let's get our little mayonnaise and just gently squeeze some on like so. It kind of looks a bit like ice cream, isn't it? Except this does not taste anything like ice cream. We'll put that on like that as so. Looks very nice. And the next thing is the lettuce because the mayonnaise is going to act like uh, the glue to make the lettuce actually stick onto the bun. But obviously it's going everywhere so hopefully this will make it stick. So put the lettuce on the first bun and the second bun. I kind of feel like Big Cook, Little Cook right now. I'm actually demonstrating of how to actually plate properly. <laughs> Never thought I thought I'd actually do this on a video but there we are. Doing something new on the channel. There you go, like so, perfect. And the next bit is the chicken. Let's get the chicken out of the little um, tray. Just gently place it on top of the lettuce like so. Hopefully that will flatten the lettuce and make it stick to the mayonnaise. And do the same with the other one. Look at that. Fantastic. And now, we'll have some cheese. Now that I've, I've gone with grated cheese. Um, a lot of people just prefer putting cheese just flat on top, but I like grated cheese because it makes the burger more softer and it makes it more easier to eat for me. I don't know, that might, sound, that might sound crazy, but I actually do prefer grated cheese. I don't know what you guys think, but let me know what you think in the comments below. I mean, I do prefer grated cheese than um, just flat cheese. There we go, we'll just put that on like that. And now we're going to put the bacon on top of the cheese. So it's sort of in between the chicken and the bacon, so the cheese will actually melt, which God, that looks fantastic already. Put the next bit of bacon on like that. And then, take a give it a bit of a Texas taste. It's a little bit out of focus, let me just sort the focus in, there we go. Now for the Texas taste, we're gonna have the Texas barbecue burger. I don't know you guys can, uh, Texas barbecue sauce I meant to say, not burger. Texas barbecue sauce, I know you guys can actually see that on the camera. No, you can't really cut, there we go. Um, barbecue sauce, can you see that? It won't, it won't focus, the ca this camera is very funny. There we go, barbecue sauce. Uh, let's just gently put some on. Just, 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 just a drizzle. Drizzle. I meant to say drizzle. Just a, a little drop of that on there. And then, if you want, you can add a little bit more cheese on the top. If you guys wanted a little bit more cheese. I mean, I do like a bit of cheese here and there sometimes. Just put a little bit there and a little bit on there. Fantastic. And now, for the finished project, we need the bun. Get them out of the toaster and just put them on top like that and like that. So there we go. Look at that. Wow. I mean, I know I, I knew my cooking was good, but I didn't know it was pretty. Look at that. A proper Texas chicken and bacon barbecue burger. Perfect. With some lettuce and mayonnaise. I think this is a job done. I mean, what do you guys think? That is a work of art. I mean, I know food's food for some people, but that is a work of art. I think Gordon Ramsay would be very pleased of, um, of the style of my burger. So now that your burger is finished, there's only one thing left to do. It's eat it. Let's give it a try, shall we? Oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna go for the little tail end. Look at this. I'm gonna go for the nice little tail end. A little bit of lettuce fell off. So I'm gonna try and focus on the burger and not my face. Look at that, I'll go for the nice teller with a bit of bacon and chicken sticking out. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Now that is a seasoned burger. <laughs> Even though it's a chicken burger, it still counts as a burger. That is delicious. And when I finish this burger, I've got another one. Ha <laughs> ha. Now that is stunning. I don't know what you guys think. I wish you, you guys can actually taste what I'm eating right now. And you guys have never seen me cook before, so I thought this would be something interesting to see what you guys can actually see what I'm actually capable of doing uh, instead of playing video games and spending my life on front of a computer. I'm actually very good at cooking, but I might do this again. I might not. This was just a one off video just to see what you guys think. Um, but if you want to see me do more stuff like this, uh, leave me a comment in the uh, in the comment section below. I think it said description. Make sure you click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter, and Instagram, and Twitch. All the links are in the description. This is one we had a party time. Stay indoors, stay safe, and cook. That's what I'm doing, just cooking. It's a good way to pass the time, and it's very rewarding when it's done. <clears throat> so, I'm going to enjoy my burgers, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay cool, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!
Down, 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 down. Oh, nearly forgot the burgers. What's it feel like? Whoa! I'm gonna be driving landing. Oh my god, that was amazing! I might be an expert at these things. Sort of.